All right. So it's Labor Day, September 9th, 2022. It's uh, quite a cool morning. It's about 83 degrees outside right now. It's cool in South of Florida. And I got my beach bike. Um, not my uh, $35 bike, but I got my beach bike. One big fat tires. And uh, I don't really like this. I, I still didn't get my... I ordered a, uh, uh, a stabilized platform for the... For the uh, cell phone, but um, I'm also, I have a, uh, like, a, not really an action camera, but I have a, a, a back camera that is, is action camera capable. I'm going to put that on my bike with a stabilized, so at least I'll get a stabilized video without tunnel vision. This one here, it's not stabilized, and you get tunnel vision, but oh well, that's all I got right at the moment. So, unless you guys want to wait a month. Alright, so... I don't know. We'll see how far we drive on Santa. But it all depends on how nice the bike ride is. Um, I don't have full extension, and the bike hugs the road a little bit, so I feel I'm only going to go as far as Bailey's. But we'll see. You know, if it, if it stays nice like this, we'll see how far I go. There are some clouds there in the distance, so those are hanging over Santa Bel Captiva. There is some um, rain on radar out in that area, so of course that'll make the bicycle ride that, that much more enjoyable, although I'll have to turn the video off. I got my surf walkers on, so I intend to bicycle right to the lighthouse. We're going to check out the lighthouse again, see if it's low tide. Yesterday I was on Fort Myers Beach just walking around. I didn't bring my camera with me, but... I didn't bring my bike with me. That was unfortunate because the, the tide was really out. Literally, we could walk an extra 30 yards to get in, the, in, the, in low tide to get to the water. So I'm hoping Sanibo, it was like that at, at 10.30 yesterday morning. So it's, it's only about 8.30 right now. So we'll see. We'll see if it's high tide or low tide. I don't even know what tide it is. All I know is that around 7 o'clock in the evening, the moon was almost uh, 90 degrees to the setting sun. But that's an indication of, of, of uh, big, high and low tides. So, so I'm thinking around 9.30 or something this morning there should be low tides. So it'll give me some time to get to Santa Bell. And then if it's low tide, wow. I'll be able to bicycle out from that point in the lighthouse all the way on the beach and all the way down the beach from in the uh, on the sandbar, that'd be sweet. The phone is only at 84 percent, so I forgot to charge it last night. Yesterday I should have came out to the beach, but I don't know something inside me. I just didn't want to. I was I was working on the screen lanai on my back. I have some rocks in the front. I wanted to accomplish something before I treated myself to a bike ride. But this morning I was the opposite way around. I was like. Wait a minute! You gotta get to, you gotta get your uh, fun in before you end the day doing all this work on Labor Day. So, so I uh, I greased up the tires and the gears and the, and the chain um, and any other rotating point. All the shocks, I greased them up. So the bicycle is running pretty smooth right now. It's not making too much noise. I like that. Gears are not changing that good. Right. I think the uh, lid gear needs to be loosened just a hair.
on the causeway. To the left. House. Water is beautifully calm. But I would say it's about mid tide. It's not really low tide. A lot of people aren't fishing, I see already. It's pretty cool. Look up here. A lot of people are parking by the water. That's pretty good. They're trying to catch their fish for their uh, for the grills. They're gonna grill up some fish. Everyone's probably got big coolers with Plenty of ice in there, just waiting to catch that fish. There's people that have racing bikes. Yeah, that's what you do with a racing bike, you race. <laughs> Me, I'm, I'm looking at the sights. I'm looking at the sights, I'm going to be bicycling on the beach. They, I don't know, you know what? I never really understand a racing bike. I don't know why you want to race traffic. It's dangerous, for one. I'm not bicycling way over there, that's for sure. I'm bicycling over here. Two. Um, the faster you go with these maniac drivers, the faster you fall. I, I want to give myself time to swerve out of the way. I want to just be out of the way of these people. These people are maniacs, these car drivers. There's a person there enjoying themselves. Full speed. Good time. It's a nice bike. Alright, here's the uh, Sanibel Toll Plaza. Last time I looked, it was $6 to get into Sanibel. Let's see how much it is now. Well, still $6. Third axle, that's $9. Each additional axle is three. Three axle vehicle is nine dollars. So that would be like uh, a car towing something. And then every other axle is three more dollars. What I don't like is that there's no more toll booths. So everything is going to be it's going to be mailed to you be billed unless you you know and that's I don't like that because the last time the government tried to do something like that they charged me 10 times more than what I was supposed to pay so unless you live on Sanibel and you have a decal and you pay half the half price that way I don't know anyone without a decal now is gonna be paying up to 10 times more than what they should pay that's that's criminal so that's what Lee County's doing Oh. Here's some people getting ready to lunch. It's pretty awesome. Oh, some more people racing traffic. I don't like that idea. Little tiny bicycle. Come on, you know the traffic's going to win. Alright, I'm going so speed up this bridge. Tires are hugging the road pretty good. Oh, I'm starting to sweat already, too. What's going on with that? Okay, I see those clouds. One of them was way over there at Boca Grande. That, that cloud way over there. Cloud straight ahead of me. Yeah, you got Captiva. You got Blind Pass. You got uh, Bowman's Beach. And then you got a cloud over there to the left. That's over... Middle Gulf Drive, don't act. But we got little clouds extending from Sanibel down to uh, down to Naples. I see that offshore. So I'm, I'm, this is the convergence zone right here, probably on the top of this bridge. So the, I've had a tailwind, not really helping me. Maybe one mile per hour. You can hardly feel it. But as soon as I get to the top of this bridge, the wind will probably change direction. And again, not till I can feel it, because I'll be going down the bridge. But it'll slow me down a little bit. 
going down the bridge and then of course once you get at the bottom of the bridge then the headwind will uh, impede forward forward progress so that'll be fun but yeah I'm starting to sweat Unbelievable. one thing about this bike though is that I can't get I need to get a post seat post that's at least two inches taller Notice that a guy riding the bike there has one prosthetic leg. That's sad, but you know what? I'm glad for him and he's able to get out and do some bicycling. That's what I would do. If I had a prosthetic leg, bicycling would be the, the sport of choice. The only sport I could do. Wouldn't be able to go in the water really. That'd be a that'd be a calamity if I had one leg. Swimming in the pool, okay, that's optional, but still, it'd be kind of weird. Bicycling, people really don't think too much of it. They think you just have a uh, sophisticated leg gear until you look actually really close. I notice that it's prosthetic. One thing about a nice biker ride, though, is that it, it clears out your lungs. You get a good cardio, especially going over the bridge here. A lot, of, a lot of bicyclists, little tiny 20, mine's a, I wish I had a 29 inch, uh, 4 inch wheel, but this thing's only 27 and a half, it's sad, uh, I'm really addicted to uh, 29 inch wheels because of the rolling force, all that built up kinetic energy that's built into the, uh, each, each uh, pedal. He's driving a little tiny 26 inch. I mean, it, it should be a, a 70 inch, which is about, a, a, excuse me, a 700 centimeter diameter, which is pretty much the same as a 27 and a half. Really, the only reason why they made tires like that, or bicycles like that, is because those fit into a car, the 26 inch wheels, without doing any major, uh, turning the handlebars and lifting one side of the bike to get it in the back of your car. For me, I don't mind doing that extra step, even with a 29-inch bike, because it rides just that much more, that much more efficiently and better. You get that much more rolling force for almost the same amount of energy. 50% more rolling force. So people down here are fishing, I see. Well, the tide at this point, the tide looks somewhat high at this at this area. brake going down that bridge but I decided to go for it. Got to be careful on a bike though because these uh, these big tires especially they like to bounce and uh, if you go fast on them they could bounce you right off the bike. So big tires like these are made to go slow and they're meant to go on sand not going down a nice hill with bumps that could bump you right off the bike. So that's that's the thing, you know. Smaller the tire, the smaller the bump is going to bump you. The tire, the the actual wheel will take the impact. But a big tire inflated like this, this thing is uh, has well, it has rolling force the more air I put in it, but it also has bouncy force, <laughs> um, spring on it. I could bounce me right off the bike, so I got to be careful. All right. Out over here. Some erosion, interesting. People are fishing. Still, it's pretty early. Six dollars to get on Santa Bell's not bad. A lot of erosion up here. Sound is, uh, needs to be dredged a little more. It used to go out about 
10 to 20 more feet. At least on the left hand side it's pretty good, but on the right hand side they lost a lot. Yesterday, or not, not yesterday, but Saturday, it was so-so. Some of the uh, notable items that I came across, someone was selling ATVs, but they wanted a uh, minimum of $1,000 on some of these that look like they go for $900 in the store. So, I was trying to sell them for more than retail. So, obviously, I wasn't interested in that. Someone was selling a riding lawnmower, but they wanted $5,000 for it. It was in good shape, but maybe the lawnmower was $8,000 new. But again, I, uh, you know, I don't have $5,000 in my pocket. Someone was selling, the same guy was selling a toolbox for $500. That? Uh, it was a good deal. I didn't know if the tools inside the toolbox were included. I don't think they were, but he wanted $500. Boxes like the one he had there. It was a little, it was on wheels. It was red. Had some nice drawers. You know, I think it's just in Harbor Freight. You can pick one up between seven, eight hundred bucks. So he wanted five hundred. He says it was negotiable. Again, I didn't have five hundred dollars in my pocket, and toolbox is not on my hit list. So you know, I'm more of a hundred dollar guy, but I held back. He sold it. I called him up later, asked him about it, and then he has some other. Um, interesting items, but he says he's got to uh, go through these uh, collectible items that he has. So, he said he would call me. Um, that was about it. Then there was a couple other little electronics, but everyone wanted a, a lot of money, and that's what we found that any, any holiday weekend is really... When holidays fall on the weekend, you can skip garage selling because the people that would normally have the good garage sales, they're enjoying the holiday. The people that um, that are having an estate sale or who are charging a lot of money or who are desperate, they're the ones that are going to jack up their prices and have a sale. So it's not even worth going out on a holiday weekend. So like Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. Those are uh, holidays. Yeah, you should take a holiday, not go out for ice selling. So Labor Day is the same thing. I don't know these bikes. Yeah, I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to have to force myself across the bridge like this. I'm enjoying the view, talking, enjoying the view. It's three miles across the causeway. So, no matter how you slice it. I mean, if I had a real electric bike, I would have uh, a, a carbon lithium battery um, that has uh, three to ten times the energy density as the, the, the lithium ion one. And that one would you can get one third the size to do the same 50 mile distance. Now, that would be nice. Power assist would probably go 100 miles, you know, but I, if I can get at least 50 miles minimum, um, straight power, repetitively. Sometimes bikes, when you charge them up full, they'll go a certain distance, and then you charge them up full again, you think they'll go the same distance? No, they fluctuate. Sometimes it goes you know, 100%, sometimes it only goes 50% so it runs out of charge. I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know the uh, reason behind that. It could be there's a bad cell in the battery, or the, uh, the battery charger didn't recognize a full charge on the cells and it didn't charge the battery right, which is scary. You know, the controller doesn't work like that. That's, that's disappointing. And it's sad, you have to find out about it after you bought the bike, right? Noise level monitor. Oh, brother. Yeah, I just heard that Lee County has new sound detection equipment. They can, they can detect gunshots. And um, when they hear gunshots, they'll they'll dispatch troopers immediately without somebody having to call, which I think is pretty cool. But there are a lot of police around here. I don't like that either because 
know, they're restricting a lot of the parking. You used to be able to park everywhere here on the island. And now we have all these these rope the barricades. I don't know what they're protecting. Not protecting anything as far as I can see. They're just limiting the access. So people can't drive off or drive on in certain areas. You used to be able to, you know, everywhere was an on and off access point. Now you have to drive down, you know. So they're wasting money on posts instead of actually taking the money and dredging and making and putting the islands back to where they should be. Sad. You know, people have to park long ways in. It's retarded. Oh, well. Inside this part is nice and wide, but still, I like the left hand side better. You can park right up the water. Right hand side, they got some kind of barricades, which is ridiculous. I don't understand that. But there's not enough places to uh, to drive in. They have all these barricades up. It just doesn't make. But this used to be the, the access point, and they blocked it off for some no, no good reason. Sad. what happens when government gets involved in something they ruin it used to be a good thing now they put up all these barricades pretty soon they're going to charge for parking so they're going to ruin everything let's take down the barricades fire the policemen that came up with these silly stupid ideas and then you save all that money you don't need to charge people for parking what for you should just change the garbage bags once or twice more often He's got a generator on the wheel, but it's still a manual bike with a generator producing just enough electricity to make a flashing red light in the back. That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh well. Uh, at least those people look like they're enjoying themselves. Man. They're bicycling at slow speed. They're not racing. So it's unfortunate though. They have road bikes. So they're stuck on the road. The nice thing about this big four inch tire is that I could run over nails or glass. I'm trying not to, but with those racing bikes, those thin tires, one, one glass, one porcelain, one nail, bingo. Flat tire. So what's the problem with that? I mean I, I could race them, but I would have to pump a lot more. This bike going. Yeah, my bike is not shifting right. Maybe it is. The, it is the back gear. I gotta. Um, I gotta loosen the gear a little bit so that it's, it stays on the on the highest gear. So it's wanting to shift down to second gear. Or I should say. 21 gears. It's right now on, I guess, gear 21. It wasn't shifted gear 20. Terrible. All right. Last, last span of the bridge. Temperature's probably up to 85 now, possibly 86. The sun is still behind a layer of clouds, which is, thank goodness, because otherwise it would be that much hotter. Ugh. All right, I should have downshifted. See, 
that's what I've I've been seeing lately. A lot of people who boat fish. They park their boat in the shadow of the bridge so they can get shade while they fish. And that's smart too because a lot of fish they like to fish in the shadow of the bridge. So and the shadow of the bridge keeps them more hidden from aerial predators like cormorants, pelicans, and seagulls. Sometimes hawks. Sometimes um, they have those uh, bird of prey over here. The uh, um, seahawk, not the seahawks, the osprey. see some people set up near the uh, beach road access. See some people launching a boat over right here. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to cut over. We should cut over right now. and shady on this side too. That side's all exposed. This side's nice and shady. Nice. Probably about three degrees cool over here. It's probably about 83 over here. 86 over there. Nice. See, if it rained this morning, it would even be cooler on this side. It might even be 79. But I don't feel, I don't feel that cool draft. So it is, I can see a damp, I can see a dampness, but it's dry enough that probably rained about two hours ago so it's just now finishing drying up I love this real estate office here I like it I'd like to own it one of these days it looks like they have enough room for another real estate office there or over here sample chamber of commerce I would love that building wow there's a real expensive helicopter on the right hand side here I don't know what they're doing. They're not spraying. Or are they? They have tanks on both sides of the airplane, uh, the helicopter. Yeah, they may be spraying. Wow. Hope they're not spraying COVID-19. Lake over there, so they may be spraying the lake. Yeah, that that purple malathion. I don't think they spray that anymore. Yeah, he's spraying something. I want to get out of this area before he sprays it. I'm almost, I'm almost through. Next circle he makes, he'll probably do this side of the road. I'll be past it. There's a police officer here directing traffic.